every summer, the moment sun leaves Aries and enters Taurus, there is an astrological rule that every media outlet and scarefluencer have to scare people about how watermelon sellers are injecting their fruits with erythrocene, also known as Red 3, a food coloring agent. And every year, some state government will catch a scapegoat and put out a statement that they see some 100 kgs of artificially dyed watermelons. Here's why I'm skeptical. Injecting dye into a watermelon at only one place only colors that immediate area. And all these news stories show perfectly evenly bright red watermelons. That's not how physics works. That's how Photoshop works. Second, injections leave behind visible holes and will cause the fruit to rot rapidly in the Indian summer. Indian farmers are not exactly rolling in money to be able to take this risk. And you can see holes very easily. A scientific way to validate this is to randomly collect watermelons from multiple places and test them in a lab. Well, Karnataka did that nine years ago and found no traces of red dye and verified what I just said. Injections don't color the fruit evenly. And if a lot of people got sick, we'd have known about it. Look, I can't convince you that poor farmers are not poisoning your food. If you want to believe the story every single year, despite no evidence of large-scale food poisoning, we might want to consider if the real poison in our food is mistrusting farmers and fear-mongering without evidence, not red 3 dye.